Hi. On the bench today is a Unison Audio Research Unico Nuovo amplifier. And if we look at the main board, which I've pulled out of the unit, you see that there are two missing filter capacitors. There are two here, there should be four. What happened to those two capacitors is that they released themselves from the board in shipping. They broke off. And so we're replacing those filter capacitors. Fortunately, they didn't do any additional damage. But this is what I want to show you. Everybody sees those warnings on amplifiers. Don't get inside unless you see, unless you know what you're doing. And the reason for that is capacitors can hold a charge. Let's take a look at these two capacitors. Now, no electricity has passed through this unit for at least a couple of weeks. It's just been sitting. If we measure the voltage on this, it's 0.2 volts. So it's very, very low voltage. But let's look at this other filter capacitor. That other filter capacitor has 33 volts DC just sitting here for a couple of weeks, no electricity from the wall passing through the unit. That's why you have to be careful because these capacitors can really hold a charge. Now, while 33 volts is not terribly high, it's enough to give you a wake-up call. And I've seen capacitors hold a lot more charge than that. And they can hold charge for a long time. So that's why it's super dangerous to get inside one of these chassis unless you know what you're doing. Before I do any work on this, I'm going to discharge that capacitor and bring it down to zero. And then we're going to actually pull those two. We're going to put four brand new capacitors in there, get this unit back up and rolling.